What's good, family? Two Fast 18 back with some more Epic Seven content, and today we're gonna be doing a Kitty Clarissa review and build guide. Right? People have been asking since I did the uh, the update notice <laughs> for the new patch coming out. How should we build Kitty Clarissa? How where can we utilize her and all these things? Because you know I was hyping her up and everything, and I got gotcha, y'all, man. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha you on this one. So first off, right? Let's go into her the details. This is what I have currently built on her. She's literally a support unit for me. Now you can build her damage as well. I have tried that route, route, but she's kind of weird. Um, the reason I say that is because one straight off the bat, her S1, right? The one that gives the lovely dual attack when she has the loveliness added on. She is uh scales off of hp for this move you know damage dealt increased proportional to the caster's max health but for her second skill that is not the case you know i think it scales off of just attack alone so you need to build like all around just to have like a good hybrid damage dealing kitty clarissa so i don't need that because i have other units that i just want her to tag up with and those units are like, like my main dps is gonna do the damage she is just there to counter specific teams in arena and also to help counter uh crazy stunned up teams in um what do you call it in guild wars you know because 3v3 so it's a lot easier to use her in guild wars than arena arena is pretty specific now i have her builder on a speed set with uh hp base basically i got here hp hp and speed uh i didn't want too much speed on her because i want her to cut especially in arena certain units and those main units are people like general purgus right you know let me, let me go show y'all guys real quick general purgus is i can't stand dude <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all, I can't stand General Purgus. But the higher up you are, the more General Purgus you guys will definitely see. Where he at? Right here. This dude. This dude. His passive here. Right? Increase all allies coming in this by 10% when the caster is attacked. Annoying as hell. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to cleave or anything like that. And then he has this move. Give the command to charge, dealing damage to all enemies with a 75% chance of stunning two random enemies for one turn increase attack of all allies for two turns them two random enemies yo th those be like the main ones you want to go that's how rng works man murphy's law it's just it's they go fuck you over you know <laughs> to be honest but he's one of the mains but for me other than him one of the ones that I can't stand and I cannot outspeed. So I just needed an answer because I'm tired of just waiting to refresh my arena to avoid fighting those. Is this chick here. And you will see her a lot in Guild Wars 2. Assassin Coley. That Kitty Clarissa will completely, completely fuck her over. Right? Because look at, look at this chick base speed. Right? 126. This move right here. Move silently to attack the enemy, stunning for one turn. Silence all enemies when the target is defeated. But it's just the main thing is that she's stunning and silencing one of your units automatically off the bat. Unless you got Will on, she is doing that. So since I know Assassin Cole is going to be fast, this is why my Kitty Carissa. Uh, let me go to Hero. My Kitty Carissa is built at 201 speed. The reason why she's at that speed is because she is faster than all of my main units that I use, like Deanne, my Luna. Um, the only person she's not faster than, and they'll never be teamed up together, is probably Clory and my Shadow Rose. You know what I mean? Because nine times out of ten, when you when I'm going into matches, let's say against a Clory or anything like that, they, they my for some reason Deanne is always gonna get stunned up for some reason so because my clitor carissa is faster than my dn my even if my dn is stunned up or provoked or anything like that clitor carissa will go cut cleanse that shit with her s3 which is i'm so cute me out right and now i don't know if i said this already but this is all 
pre before the uh, buffs comes out because there's going to be some major changes to her cooldowns and this move here that is a, a strip for her as well. You know, so this is before that <laughs> when she becomes more OP. But um, for Artifact as well on Kelly Clarissa, right now I have Sigurd Scythe because at the time, I don't know why, but I guess everyone, I'm, I feel like everyone who gets Stark Gauntlet is like, look, what warrior am I building with high resistance, right? So I had a, a dozen amount of Stark Gauntlets. I'm not going to lie. They give me the shitty artifacts. I wish they could show me the number of Stark Gauntlets I have <laughs> and I just eventually used up to level up other things but this i feel unless you put in will gear on your Cl kitty clarissa stark gauntlet i feel will help you the most for the artifact if you're using her as support like i am because this increase her when max increase her resistance by 60 even before that it's increasing her resistance by 30 percent when she's at max health so that first turn she get 30 percent more you know what i mean so if she re uh uh doesn't get stunned up. Let's say their whole team gets stunned. Let's say you're going against like uh, uh, was an ML Armintha like I have and shit like that, right? And she went first, or even a Bologna, and they went first and they defense break or stump your team. As long as your Clitor Carissa survive and then get stunned up, and since I have her so fast, she's cleansing all of that shit, bro. She's cleansing all of that, and my team is then going. So that's why you know it's pretty situational in arena. But in Guild Wars, in Guild Wars, you can speed tune her depending on how you're, who, are, who, are, who you're going against. So for me personally, it's those damn uh, Assassin Coley's. Them Assassin Coley's or let's say, uh, well, Lydica, she's going to reduce it no matter what, you know. But Assassin Coley is the main one for me, at least, at high rank. People love running that shit on defense. And I didn't have no real counter until I... Kitty Clarissa, man. Now, you're probably thinking, well, those are the only two places. It's just not worth it. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. The other places you can use her is actually in motherfucking raid. You can use her <laughs> up against every boss in raid. Like, straight up. For example, the Valor Harkon right here, right? When he does his little spray and uh, you cannot buff and things like that, yo, Kitty, Kitty Clarissa can cleanse all that shit man matter of fact i don't even know it might be uncleansable because i feel like when i did that shit with deanne her cleanse it didn't cleanse it so i could be wrong i have to i have to definitely test that out again and check and see but i know she will cleanse like all the other shit like speed slows and all that fuck shit you know what i mean slows and uh defense break and all that bullshit uh the next one executing Car carcanus his ads his little mini bosses dudes they, when they do their special or even their basic skills, they're like debuffing your dudes. You know what I mean? And sometimes, let's say uh, this dude, uh, Executioner, he went into stealth and you're trying to get him out of stealth. But your, um, what do you call it? Your AOE unit doesn't have, um, doesn't have his AOE move or he can't use it because he's going to miss because he has a debuff on him. Critical Risk can cleanse that shit. Or because she gains immunity, she can use her second skill to take him out. So it's a great, it's great counter towards excuse me, Carcanus easily, man. Um, next up, Secretary Vera with the stuns and shit like that. Same thing, cleanse, and you have her on front line, Kitty, Kitty Clarissa. That is on front line, just tanking and shit like that. That well, she scales off HP, so if you build her HP and things like that, she could definitely tank, no problem. Juvie, he's another one. He's pretty annoying for a lot of people that don't know how to fight him. And also because it's like a guessing thing when he splits up and shit like that. She definitely can help when he's putting on those fucking poisons. You know? She can help cleanse that shit easy. Easy, man. You get them dual attacks popping off and all the things like that. Get his shit down fast. No problem. Now the queen. For those who have fought the queens, for those, for those who don't know about the queen... She likes to fucking attack and strip and shit like that, right? Now, when in the buff, that is, when the buff comes out, she can't be stripped anymore of her fucking, um, her little meow, the loveliness buff. You know what I'm saying? Now she can be stripped, so she's not as, you know, viable here because she's, she's just going to get reset. So it's kind of pointless right now. But after that patch, she'll be real viable in this shit. 
You know what I mean? She'll cleanse. She can do the fucking dual attacks and help take out units way, way faster. And people are wondering as well, like, who can I team up with Kitty Clarissa? A lot, man. I, I'm just go to the journal real quick. Show you. Like, one of the main ones, right, is, let's see, Bologna. Bologna, the reason I say that is because she's unique. Bologna has, um, every time she does, like, her S1s and things like that, it would lead to her getting the focus. And the focus can stack up to five until it gets the free Razor Wind fan. You see what I'm saying? So shit like that, when you do your loveliness, that's three dual attacks you can get off if you're manual in. Because if you're not manual in, when she does it, she's going to do her second skill and then do her first skill. So you're like missing out a turn of the loveliness and shit like that. So Bologna is a candidate for me <laughs> personally, but not everyone have it, is ML Armenta. ML Armenta is very viable for that because when she, uh, you just uh, choose who you want to attack with that first skill, that um, the dual attack, the team up, and if that person has a burn on them, she's going to proc into her second skill, which is going to give her 30% combat readiness. So she is gaining these combat readiness off of Clitty Carissa turn and off of her turn originally as well, uh, or Mintha that is. So that is like a 60% between the two, just like that. Just like that, man. <laughs> that team up shit is ridiculous. <laughs> Other units as well. Fucking, um... I, I can't name all of them for you guys for sure at the bet, but like Vildred is a good candidate as well. He's another one, you know? If uh if a damage done increases caster speed, right? So he's gonna be fast as well. And if he kills an enemy or anything like that, he procs his passive. Just like that. So, you know, he's procking getting these kills when it's not even his turn. And he also increases his combat readiness when a uh, enemy is defeated. So if an enemy's defeated, he's he's procking this shit. And I, I believe he increases attack, right? For two turns. Yeah, increases attack, yeah. I have Vildred, but I don't use him. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. But we're not here about him, really. It's about Katie Clarissa, right? So, depending on what units you have, what heroes you have, if you have Katie Clarissa, just try them out and see which ones, which S1, their first skill is OP. Look at fucking Sid. That could be an OP combo, but I don't use Sid like that, so and I can't really say too much. But um. Anyway, so let's get back into her. Uh, where's she at? All right. So I tried doing like a all HP damage build for her. Like I gave her my Ken, my Ken, his stats and his uh, all HP. I gave it to her just to see what damage she would do. And really and truly, she wasn't doing a lot like I thought. So don't expect her to be, because she's a warrior, she's just going to be dishing out a lot of damage. Only way I see that happening, to be honest, when you're hitting stupid hard on Clady Clarissa, is if you invest into her skill one. Well, that's 50% more damage if you invest in her. You know what I mean? Um, this only needs one, so it's kind of good. But both of these right here. It's fucking <laughs> so many Mulligores you would need, but after the after the patch, you know, they're going to reduce it, so that can help out. So that's why I haven't invested shit in her yet. <laughs> also, I'm broken Mulligore anyway. Another artifact that I think will be viable on her if you're doing a tank build, because like I said, her S1 scales off of HP, is Candlestick, All right? Now, I have Candlestick on my Clory, so let's just go here. Artifact, level 30. 40% to reduce cooldown by one turn, right? So, I put her on front line because she's a tank for me, you know, support tank. And she does her loveliness and she get hit and she procs that shit in the buff when the uh, the patch, when the patch comes out. That it's going to be a four turn, four turn cooldown. So, you hit her once and she proc that shit. Remember, loveliness lasts for three turns. So, that's three turn immunity with her fucking loveliness. And, yo, you, it's like damn near infinite. So this uh, candlestick is a great three-star artifact on her. Trust me. I, I honestly don't know which five-star artifact to use on her. That's a warrior because, I don't know, all the ones I tried out, it's just, ah, it's just not really fucking doing it for me. Cigarette Scythe and shit like that, you know, she's not doing enough damage to 
you know, get the HP back really and truly. So, I, I don't know. I think Candlestick and uh, Stark Gauntlet is like the premier artifacts on her. Other than that, unless you have uh, Will on her, Will Gear on her, then you can rock whatever else you think will be good. But for me, it's going to be Candlestick or Sigrid Scythe. Um, let's see if we can actually get an arena match. Because I was doing arena and trying to like get this video prepped to go. But I don't know what it is. Not a lot of people running Glory anymore on defense or some shit. Or they're running some crazy shit where it's like it's kind of pointless. But like I was saying earlier, it's situational for her in arena now. Post. Post. Or pre-update. Uh, because her strip is only... Uh, you know, it only strips like one. But in the bu uh, in the uh, update, she'll be able to strip two turns worth of uh, buffs. Instead of just one. So let's see. So General Perg is here. But I mean, with all these... This this team is so weird. What the fuck? Okay, this cameo guy. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. Maybe the scorpion guy. I could display her. Cause with this Shuri and Luna, I mean, eh. and this is a speed combo. This ruse it. All right, let's try. Let's try this. Let's see. Let's see. So, we will bring. So k -Ron silences, crowd provokes, so does what you call it, um, Crimson Armor provokes as well. So let's bring Kitikaris into this battle, right? Boom. Especially with this Chlory nerf coming, man. Alright, so I'm fasting all these people. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, this is me giving respect to people think niggas is mad fast. Um... <laughs> I'll just save it, I guess. Let's just go for him. Also, her imprint as well. I should have went over that and show you. Her imprint gives dual attack. So the more Clarissas you have, the more uh, dual attack chance it goes up, percentage goes up. So I want to kill this Ruel, right? I feel like Ruel has high resistance, though. So let's provoke her. And stun up the Crimson Army. No, Alright, cool. I can't take this anymore. So AoE stun, cool, cool. I will guide you through the light. Oh she had idol of course she has idols idol idols chair. Let's just do this. Now I'm thinking I should have done it in the beginning. Yeah. Let's go for him. Hmm. Let's just put shield on her. Alright, so Crimson Armor is going to do his... Uh, Skill, right? So, where's Kitty Carissa? All right, she's gonna go before. Let's just go for you. So now her ass too. I could even burn this shit. What's the burn do? Just damage increase, whatever, right? So he has three turns. Except for Ruel, she has one, two turns on that buff, right? So let's see if I can strip invincibility off these guys, so you can see what I'm talking about with this strip. So, I took it off two people. Invincibility, that is, right? And now, mm, it's reduced her shit by one turn as well. Now, imagine if uh, the buff, if this was after the, um, the, the patches uh, put in, then it would have reduced, she would have completely been stripped of her immunity, that Ruel, that is. Completely stripped. That's why I'm excited about her buff, man. Alright, attack him. Let's advance together. Try to get him down. He's not alien his ass so I just want him to go for glory mainly. Maybe I'm working too hard. Shall we begin? 
Alright, so we have these two attacking. So like somebody like Luna as well. This shit is OP with Luna, yo. Cause Luna's first skill reduces her cooldown of her third skill. So she could be fucking popping off. Matter of fact, I should have bought Luna into this shit to be honest. Uh but it's great against like people like Chloe, shit like that that go first and just fuck shit up. You know, try to fuck you over. Fuck over your Deanne or your water unit, whoever. I will guide you through the light. My goddess. I'll have to warm up. Who doesn't have immunity? Uh, I'll just stun these two, fuck it. I got Ethica Scepters on, so I'll probably get my shit back fast as hell. I'm immune, shawty. Let's go for him since he's provoked. Crimson Armin died in the process. Let's do some damage on her. Let's kill this guy. I feel like I didn't really get to show her, showcase her meow meow shit. Showcase it cleansing in this one. Let's see if we can strip his defense, right? Nope, she missed. Bastard. I'm gonna stun them up. Also, my Clitty Clarissa doesn't really have high effectiveness as well. Mainly because she has a high chance to begin with, you know? And I have no molas into her. So the chance didn't go up, but after the update notice, it will go up by a lot. <laughs> so to the point where after you finish getting the uh, extra effectiveness that you can from Mulligore and her, it will be at 100%. So that's why I ain't tripping too much about her effectiveness. I should have burned it, but fuck it. She gonna move in front of this crowd anyway. Let's get some HP. I even tried Elphis on her and everything, but it's just, it that could work, you know? But you don't want her health down that fucking low anyway, <laughs> to the point where she's moving that fast. Cause you want to keep her alive. Dead. Oh, nah, this nigga came back. Oh, outspeed this nigga. Look at that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, burn him. Kill him. Oh, he's gonna die from the burn anyway. What the fuck? She got another turn? See? <laughs> she she combined with this chick. And look at that. She did. <laughs> she got the increased combat ready. This. Let's see if we can find another one. Another better example. Let's refresh this list. Okay, so we got Fat Cat. Hmm. Hmm. Comes to Norman. Mm-hmm. <sighs> fat cat. Fat cat, fat cat, fat cat. Oh, actually, yeah, there's Chloe in this bitch, right? So, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Hopefully this Chloe is fast. She's not fast at all. Uh, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Let me see some. Okay. Damn, so she's not even 100 speed. Should I do the meow meow shit now? Should I get loveliness? Yeah, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, yeah, actually I will. I have an idea. Cause DM should be able to cleanse or buff because I'm gonna go for the glory. Huh. Matter of fact, maybe I should did that differently. Whatever. Oh fuck we didn't provoke. That's just bad. Resist Uh you ain't resist. Nah, our myth is probably dead now. Wait. Oh I go in front of this dudes. Alright, so I could be I'll probably stun them up. Stun. 
Yes. That's why I love this chick, bro. Oh, and her defense is broken. Click Carissa about to go. Oh, yeah. Let's burn this bitch up. Mmm. Mmm. Burn her up. Get that combat readiness. Uh-huh. Got right back in front. Uh-huh. What up? What up, nigga? You next. Uh-huh. Put that shit down. Uh-huh. Where you going for? Oh shit, I lost my stuff. No. <laughs> See, that's the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> no. It's Fat Cat, man. How am I gonna kill him now? Oh, that did an ass amount of damage, didn't it? Attack this dude. That did an ass amount of damage. We gonna do damage on this, or should we do the skill ones? Let's go for the damage. Dead. Oh, don't kill my girl. Move that anti healing heal her up. Oh, it didn't remove it. Bastard. All right. We're gonna try and take him out for sure. Come on, Clay Carissa. Dual attack. Oh, okay. I see you out here pimping. Who's gonna attack with her, though? Oh. Oh, right. That's a good combo, too, because she get the uh, the, the increased combat readiness. <laughs> yup. Look at that, yo. I'm telling you, Critic Carissa is a beast, man. Beast out here in these streets, dog. And this ain't like some low ranked part of Arena, too. You know what I mean? These guys are coming with they best. Oh, come on. Start. Meow. Let's see if we can strip. Just to see the strip working. Strip. Anti heal. Boom. Bomb. I mean, she got one that's supposed to fail anyway, so it won't matter. <laughs> she gonna cleanse it. Well, that's if it proc, though. Mm -hmm. And we gonna provoke and defense break anyway. I will guide you through the light. You know, this whole time I wasn't really checking out her, uh, wasn't really checking out her damage. Let's see. So let's do this one. 25, 10. It's not a lot, like I said. I feel like you gotta invest in that S1 with Mulligores to really get some good damage out there, you know? But yeah, so I'm out of flags anyway. So this is. This is what I think post uh, update or pre update that this is how I'm gonna have my Clitic Rissa built. Like I said, I tried the DPS route. I, I tried with the HP because she scales off uh, of uh, HP off her first skill. And since I use that as support, I'm gonna want HP. I, I didn't try the, the, the damage way, giving her attack and stuff like that because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like her water counterpart does better with that shit to be honest she's a monster with her s3 so um you get to see a few examples after this is just part one though of my clitic clarissa review there's gonna be a part two after the update come out so i can actually show you guys better arena videos and also some um what do you call it some raid stuff uh in the hunts i didn't see anywhere where she's actually like viable for me at least I didn't see anywhere where she was really viable in those hunts, to be honest. I thought Banshee would be dope and shit like that, but her AI, you know, her if you manual and sure, she's amazing, but her AI on fucking auto is like S3, S2, then S1. So she's just wasting her loveliness. I don't like that shit, you know what I mean? I don't like that shit. But anyway, that's my Clitty Carissa review. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll do a part two after the update. Thanks.